Hi, this is Munson from Munson Music, and we're going to talk real quick about how you can play through a song by Taylor Swift called Teardrops on My Guitar. And it's going to start on a G major chord. And the way you play G major, we're going to take first finger and put them on the A string on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the low E on the third fret, and the third finger is going to go to the high E on the third fret. And if you strum all the strings with that, that's called G major to sound really happy. And for our instrumental part, which is also kind of part of the verse, we're going to be going to an E minor chord. And the way you play E minor, first finger is actually going to kind of stay on the A on the second fret. Second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and if you strum all the strings with that, that's called E minor, and it sounds very sad. Um, and then from there, we're going to go to a C major chord, and the way you play C major, first finger is going to go on the B on the first fret, second finger is going to go to the D on the second fret, and the third finger is going to go to the A string on the third fret, and if you strum all those together, that makes a C major chord, and it sounds really happy. And then from there, we're going to a D major chord, so we're going to take the first finger and put it on the G on the second fret. Second finger is going on the high E or the skinny E on the second fret, and third finger is going to go to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum just the top four strings, that'll get you your clearest sound out of a D major. Chord. That sounds really, really happy. Too. So for the most part, our our, our intro and our, our verse kind of start off on that progression. So we got G major, E minor, C major, D major, G major. And those are the only four chords that we actually have in this song. Um, now one thing that, that I, well, they're going to get mixed up quite a bit, like through the, the, um, through the verse and through the chorus. But, um, but we're going to have, um, actually one thing that I really like to, to add to that and make it more interesting is what I call a strum pattern. And we're going to be using a 4-4 four, four strum pattern. It's one of my favorites. It's a down, down, up, up, down, up. So if we try that, we could even take the G and just do that a lot just to get used to it. So we got G with a down, down, up. Up, down, G, down, down, up, 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 up, down, up. So once that feels comfortable to you, then we can try that through that progression. So we got G with down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. start off on that progression. So just to try the whole verse, we're going to be going G, and then E minor, and then C, and then D, G, E minor, C, D, but then we're going to go to E minor, and then C, and then G, actually go, we kind of start the verse over again. We got G, E minor, C, D, G, E minor, C, D, then go back to E minor, and then C, and then G, and then D. So then we could try that progression with, with the strum pattern. So just to try that one time, we got the verse with G down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, G, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, go back to E minor. chords, but we're going to mix them up a different way. So for the chords, we have a G chord, and a D chord, E minor, C, G, D, E minor, C. So we could try that with the strum pattern too. So we got the G with down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down.
verse and the chorus, and the solo is actually kind of using that intro progression that we were talking about, the G, E minor, C, D. And then eventually we get to kind of a really quick bridge where we got E minor, C, G, D. So we may want to try that with the strum pattern too. So for our bridge, we got E minor, down, up, up, down. and then kind of a, a verse return like at the very end with the G major chord at the very, very end. But to play along with the recording, um, we're kind of starting on a G major chord. But Taylor Swift is actually starting on a B flat major chord. And to do that, well, what you want to do is be thinking the same chords. We're going to take a capo and put it on the third fret. So now our G major is really a B flat major. Our E minor is really a G minor. Our C is really an E flat major. And our D is really an F major. So to try through the song from the very beginning, we've got kind of the in in introduction where we got the G with down, down, up, up, down, E minor, C, or down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down. We start the first G, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down. of how you can play a song by Taylor Swift called Teardrops on My Guitar. So, good luck!